As this academic year ends, the Central Student Government Officers from 2020 to 2021 have also reached their time to bid farewell. But if this is a farewell for our outgoing CSG officers, it is a new page for our new set of CSG officers. The student leaders who will continuously do with honor the duties and responsibilities of the Council of the Students, by the students and for the students. I am Diana Benito. And I am Mark Molina. We, we are, are your hosts on today's momentous event. event. Before we go on with the highlights of this event, let us offer this program to the Almighty Father. To count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and ask not for reward. Save that of knowing that I do your more. To give and not to count the cost To fight and not to heed the wounds To toil and not to seek for rest To labor and ask not for reward Save that of knowing that I honor our country through the singing of our national anthem to be followed by the hailing of our school through the singing of SPC King. Thank you. 
gate from a river country sprite As witness on this remarkable event, here's our ever passionate, hardworking, and inspiring college president, Dr. Maria Socorro M. Iala, for an opening remarks. To the officers and members of the Central Student Government, a pleasant day. Today, we are here to witness another milestone in the life of the SPC studentry, which is the outtaking of a new set of students who will represent SPC to the whole world. May these new officers truly represent to the world the face of San Pablo Colleges and what she stands for. May these officers catch the vision of San Pablo Colleges, which is a leading educational institution which nurtures relevant, responsive, and value-laden lifelong learning and influence others to catch it, especially our loyal SPCN who stood by us in times of crisis like this pandemic. To the outgoing officers and members of the CSG headed by their president, Ms. Daisy Rose Gonzalez, thank you. I know you truly had a difficult time gathering your classmates and getting them involved in activities that you feel will uplift them as students of the school. But you made it. Thank you for sponsoring activities like Teacher's Day, All Saints and All Souls Day, featuring COVID-19 battle, Isang Baro, Isang Buhay donation drive, His Christmas Station ID, Valentine's Day, a day of tribute and admiration, digital short film competition, Employees' Day tribute video, SPC Medical Caravan, which is also ongoing, turnover and oath taking this July 7, and especially holding election despite difficulty or a virtual delivery mode. You and your officers' initiative will always be remembered for you are survivors. 
So, to the new set of officers, headed by Miss Rachel and Rinal, I welcome you all to the new challenging and exciting times of our new normal academic year 2021-2020. Good day to everyone. Thank you so much, Ma'am Cindy, for the gem of wisdom and heartfelt message that you have given. At this juncture, we are in the first part of the program, which is the turnover ceremony of the outgoing CSG officers. This Lombardi once said, leaders are made. They are not born. They are made by hard effort, which is the price which all of us must pay to achieve any goal that is worthwhile. Amidst the pandemic, the central student government stood firm with so much perseverance and hard work. Together with our administration, to be able to give us even just a half of joy we experienced when we were still roaming around the SPC campus, while participating to every CSG event. If the administration doesn't stop to find ways to be able to give us the quality education we always look for, the SPC CSG doesn't stop to find ways to be able to give us a service of joy every holiday season through their programs which included grade school department to college department. And for that, we thank you, SPCCSD. In this moment, let us welcome Basie Rose A. Gonzalez, the acting president of SPCCSD 2020-2021, to give us the farewell speech. Let me begin my farewell message with a beautiful short story. A man was praying. He was disturbed and troubled by the suffering people who passed by. They were poor, homeless, crippled, sick, and those who were in dire needs. He prayed fervently, but all the more he saw miserable people, he asked God, Good Lord, there are so many suffering people. What have you done to these suffering people to uplift them from their pitiful conditions? The good Lord whispered into his ears, I have done something to them. I have created you. To the administration, our college president, Dr. Maria Socorro M. Allen, our Vice President for Administrative Affairs, Professor Carmela Maria Celito M. Allen, our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Jocelyn A. C. Barragas, our Office of Student Affairs Officer in Charge, Mr. Bienvenido R. Lugo, and our Student Formation and Development Unit Officer, Mr. Richard C. Haner, to the Chaplain of Sacred Heart Chapel, Father Loreto Soto II, to all the deans, to all the professors, to all the teachers, to all the principals, to all the grade school, junior high school, senior high school, and college departments, to all my co-officers, and to all the staffs of San Pablo Colleges, I'd like to wish you a felicitous day. The story I just read is what I've been holding on to since the day I was appointed Interim Central Student Government President. Though SPCians are not poor, homeless, or sick, SPC is not miserable. However, the thing is, we know how SPC aims for its continuous betterment even though it's already second to now. And pursuing this goal is not a one-way street. Students must always be present on the journey in order for the goal to be realized because it is first and foremost for us, the students, more than it is for SPC. I've been wondering on how 
I could give back to the institution that helped me, mold me, and shape me to the best that I can as a student and as a leader. It's a great thing that we can always find ways to give back to the SPC community as this institution is always open for collaboration and innovation for the common good of everyone. And I must say, SPC is a God-sent place where you can do things in accordance with your purpose. A purpose that sometimes you may not recognize at first, but SPC helps you to unfold. You can always do something. I was in my first year when I joined SPC CSG as secretary. With little experience at the time, I said yes to its duty and responsibility. I'll never deny how difficult it was at first, and I had to learn almost everything the hard way because I was too emotional. There were times when I couldn't do the tasks very well, and my ate in CSG had to scold me to teach me. Times when I wanted to quit because I couldn't manage my time between academics, pageants, and service and times when I was frustrated because our events were disapproved. However, two years as a secretary and one year as an interim president have taught me that all of these experiences are normal. You must go through a process in order to see your progress. There's no excellent person is ever written in the history who knows best at first experience. My journey in this academic year has been a trying experience. We don't know when this pandemic will end. But as the story I've read suggests, in the face of adversity, we can always do something. We, the San Pablo College's Central Student Government, together with the support of the administration, had facilitated several activities that brought relevance in this time of pandemic. Activities that brought inclusivity to all the departments from grade school to college. Activities that brought creativity to every SPCN's mind and heart and activities that brought hope and joy to other communities.
gratitude to the administration, OSA, SFDU, chaplain, deans, principals, professors, teachers, students, department presidents, and staffs for your unwavering support and participation in San Pablo College's Central Student Government during academic year 2020 to 2021. It has always been a pleasure to work with all of you for the common good of SPC community. My utmost gratitude to my SPC CSD co-officers, Rachel Andrenal, Jersum R. Tabot, Mika L. Gonzalez, Ruth Joy Puno, and Aljen Suarez for the team effort to be able to finish this academic year strong and unfading until the end. To our successors, congratulations. May you see this new journey as an unfolding purpose from the Lord. Always serve from the heart and your objectives will follow. And to those students who have the calling to serve in organizations aside from SPC, CSG, don't waste the talents and wisdom the Lord has given you. You can do something to contribute to your own growth as well as the growth of our SPC community. Remember, don't look at your position to benefit from it. Rather, look at your position to benefit others. It has always been honor to serve you, dearest as peace. To God be the glory. Thank you so much, Daisy, for the service that you and your team had given to all of us amidst the pandemic. These programs have proved all the hard work you've put to be able to finish this term strong, juggling both academics and services. Of course, the captain won't start shipping without her subordinates. Let us present to you the backbone of SPC CSD from academic year 2020-2021. Colleges Central Student Government believes that everyone has the right to quality education and in the realization of this principle, SPCCSG shall adhere to this line of the program. Are you willing to advance the consciousness of the studentry towards a better understanding of their basic rights? Yes, I am. Are you willing to educate students to fully enjoy the rights which will in turn develop their physical, mental, social, political, cultural, and spiritual needs. Yes, I am. Are you willing to organize different academic and non-academic organizations that will serve as their basis towards the realization of their common interest? Yes, I am. Are you willing to lead and mobilize the students in their different campaigns and activities to be able to fully promote involvement in accomplishing the common goal. Yes, I am. The acceptance of this constitution is a symbol of willingness to embrace every duty and responsibility the Student Council entails. I accept this constitution and I shall protect and advance the right to organize, redress to grievance, 
and freedom of expression of the student. Again, we thank you, SPCCSG Academic Year 2020-2021 for the unstoppable service that you have given us. To unfold the second part of our program, the oath taking ceremony of the new set of CSG officers, let us welcome the woman of integrity and intelligence, our very own Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Jocelyn A.C. Baratas, for the message of support and guidance. Good day to all. When I was requested to give a short message of support and guidance for this occasion, I was at a loss on where I could start. I really do not know personally the newly elected CSG officers. Then I remembered the past set of officers and how they led even with the pandemic. This is where I would like to start. At a time when those of the lesser Herpen would have taken the easy way out. The CSG tried to make its presence felt. They could have easily used the pandemic as an excuse, but they did not. So even through virtual activities, the students got to participate and felt even a semblance of campus life. My sincerest appreciation goes to Daisy and her team for reaching out and religiously following not only the health safety protocols, but organization protocols as well. I have always been respectfully consulted for activities, so who can deny them? Yan ang secret. To the newly elected officers, your task will not be easy, but this is what separates the weak from the shy. You have to practice LDL, Long Distance Leadership If LDR works, LDL will also work. Do not stop thinking of ways to make, the, to make the students feel a sense of belonging, to serve as the bridge between the management and the students, to think of what is best for all concerned. Rest assured that I will support any endeavor which I think is feasible and which I think would be beneficial to the students. For areas where we have to talk and compromise, I will always be available. My congratulations and wishes for a fruitful and successful term of office. You will always have our support. Thank you and God bless. Thank you so much, Ma'am Joy, for the affirmation and advice you have given to our new set of CSG officers. For sure, they will bring all of this until the end. Let's move forward to the presentation of our new set of CSG officers to be led by the Student Election Committee and the College Department Residents. Hereby proclaim the following candidates as duly elected officers of San Pablo College's Central Student Government in the SPC CSG election 2021, namely President elect Rachel B. Endernal from College of Accountancy, Vice President for Internal Elect Ms. Sandra May R. Grao from College of Nursing. Vice President for External Elected, Ruth Joy M. Union from College of Accountancy. Secretary Elect, Ira C. C. Bonilla from College of Accountancy. Assistant Secretary Elect, Ariana Marie C. Ariola from the College of Education. Treasurer Elect, Abigail Bueno from Computer Studies. Assistant Treasurer Elect, Carl Joseph P. Sakdana from College of Arts and Sciences. 
Auditor Elect Aljon Gray E. Suarez from College of Business Administration. We humbly present the new set of officers coming from different departments who willingly offer themselves to serve in the next academic year 2021-2022. Finally, the oath of office takes place at this moment. That I will uphold and defend the Council's Constitution and by laws. That I will actively participate and support all Council's activities and programs. And that I solemnly promise the Central Student Government to promote God will and God will among San Pablo College students in all of my actions. So help me God. Congratulations to SPT CSD 2021 to 2020. This momentum is now perfect for our new declared CSD president, Rachel and Love, to give us presidential Nagros Leaders instill in their people a hope for success and a belief in themselves. Positive leaders empowers their people to accomplish their goal. So what if we are not experiencing this pandemic? What do you think you're doing right now? What if we are still taking our class face to face? So these are the what ifs in our lives. This pandemic took away these experiences and we know that by experience, we learn. In this academic year, the central student government will give you an academic year that you won't forget. We will not let this pandemic hinder our path to success and to be a total developed person. In this year, this expect very inclusive projects together with our different college department from College of Accountancy, College of Business Administration, College of Hospitality Management, College of Computer Studies, College of Arts and Sciences, College of Education, College of Nursing, College of Rad Technology, and College of Physical Therapy. Imagine how great we become every day, and we will conquer this school year ahead. So are you ready, Spicians? Because we will take the lead. That will be all. Thank you, and God bless. Thank you so much, Rachel, for the inclusive and exciting plans you have for the SPC community in this incoming academic year. We hope and pray with you and your team to be able to do all of this with enthusiasm and passion. We are sad as we need to end this program now. Thank you for joining us today, SPC Gents. This has been Diana Benito. And Mark Molina. Good day and God bless us all. all.